supply and demand model market equilibrium. So let's take a look at the model, looking at the demand and supply in the chocolate bar market. Now, remember that the demand curve represents buyers' willingness to buy. And so what we find is if the price is quite high, then the demand curve tells us, well, quantity demanded would be low. Looks to be around somewhere between two and three. And if price is low, then uh, the demand for chocolate will be quite high. We're looking at 13 or 14, right? And this is the law of demand. As price decreases, the quantity demanded will increase or vice versa. If price increase, quantity demanded will decrease. Now the supply, think of this is suppliers willingness to produce and sell. Now, if the price is quite low, say around $2, right, there's going to be a much smaller quantity produced because suppliers will decide, well, I'm not going to make much money on chocolate bars, so I'm going to, I'm going to produce something else and not sell chocolate bars. However, if the price of chocolate bars increases to a higher quantity, then the quantity supplied will be much larger in the market. Now, this intersection of supply and demand, that's where the quantity demanded and the quantity supplied are equal. And in this case, the price is $3.30, and then the quantity demanded and quantity supplied is 10. And this is market equilibrium. Now, the market will adjust so that quantity demanded equals quantity supplied all on its own. So let's go through that process. So let's suppose that the price is lower than equilibrium, say $3. So at $3, the signal is sent to the market. So buyers wake up in the morning and say, hey, chocolate bars are $3. I'm going to demand 11. And then suppliers wake up and say, hmm, chocolate bars are only worth $3. So I'm only going to supply nine. Now what this creates then is a shortage of two chocolate bars. So then when people come in to buy their chocolate bars, they're saying, hey, there's none on the shelves. And then the sellers say, hey, you know what? Our chocolate bars are selling quickly. And so the shortage then will cause the price to increase. Buyers are willing to pay more because there's no chocolate bars there and sellers are realizing, hey, these are going quickly so I can increase the price a bit. And so this will bring the price back. Now on the flip side, suppose that uh, we wake up in the morning and the signal goes out to suppliers saying, hey, you can sell chocolate bars for $5. So they make their production plans for the day. Buyers hear the signal of the price of chocolate is $5. And so they're gonna develop their shopping plans for the day. So what we find is that the quantity demanded is five. However, the quantity supplied is 13. Now there's all kinds of chocolate bars left on the shelf. So this is creating a surplus now. And so now the sellers look and say, wow, there's a lot of chocolate bars on my shelf. I'm gonna to have to decrease price. And of course that puts the downwards pressure on the price. And in the end, it will come back into market equilibrium. And so that's the process of price adjustment, right? It's caused by either a surplus or a shortage which then impacts uh, the price, moving it towards a price where quantity demanded equals quantity supplied.